So I just crossed the one year mark for freelancing and working from home full time. And although I absolutely love it, it does definitely come with its own set of challenges. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my top five tips for how to work from home and still stay sane. If you have any regular tasks that you complete on a daily or weekly basis, you know, plan specific times for those. Another thing that really helps for me is trying to set regular scheduled office hours. I'm not normally the best at this, but I think it is really important and makes a big difference for you being able to turn your work off, kind of close up your office and enjoy your home time so you're not thinking about work 24 seven and you're also not slacking off when you should be working. I think it's also really beneficial to schedule break times and meal times throughout your day. You know, part of my daily workload involves a lot of what I call admin work, you know, answering the emails, doing accounting, posting on social media. So I kind of tailor some of my meals and my breaks around the completion of those tasks that I do every day. It's also a good idea to communicate to any roommates or your significant other or family members that you're working during these times and to kindly request that they not disturb you. If you're lucky enough to have an office space with a door, I found just shutting that door and kind of closing yourself off from the rest of your home can be very beneficial in staying in that productive zone. Especially those of us that are working from home, running our own businesses, you kind of have to be a jack of all trades, handling a ton of different types of tasks. Staying organized is crucially important to stay on top of things and to not let those menial day-to-day -day tasks kind of slip and fall on the wayside. I've made videos about how I stay organized with my tasks in the past. I actually have a post-it note board on my wall here that helps kind of organize some longer term tasks. And then I also use a web app called Trello that helps me stay organized. And I haven't personally used mine as much lately, but using things like a bullet journal can also help stay on top of those daily tasks especially. Outside of organizing your actual tasks, I've found that organizing and keeping a clean workspace is also very, very important. Something that's fallen into my own routine is at the end of my workday, I like to clean up my office so the next morning when I get to work, I'm just coming into a nice, clean, calm space. I found this really helps me start my day off with the right mindset. As some of you may know, I actually lost 145 pounds a few years back and have been successfully maintaining it as I get into my freelance career from home. Taking care of your health is one of the most underutilized tools for productivity. It's so important to make sure that you're getting regular exercise and a quality night's sleep, but on top of that, you wanna make sure that your eating is up to that high standard as well. You are lucky in the sense that you work next to your own home full kitchen. The amount of people that have to go out to their jobs every day would be so jealous of the opportunity that you have to eat healthy and have the time to cook. I still utilize meal prepping and cooking in large batches to save time, but just make sure that you're taking advantage of that kitchen. It is arguably my favorite part of working from home. I have to assume that most people that choose to work from home are also going to be quite introverted like I am. It's important to make sure that you're not letting yourself slip into never leaving the house and becoming a full-blown hermit. This is something that's tough for me sometimes. I love being at home, and especially when I'm busy working all day. Usually when I'm done with work, I like to relax on the couch or read a book or play a video game or watch a TV show. So it's easy to let that slip into, you know, maybe a day or two here, it turns into a week, turns into a few weeks. You wanna make sure that you're getting out of the house. Something that I try and do that has been a big help for me, you know, whether it's going to get groceries or just going on a walk or going on a hike, I, you know, I try and figure out something to get myself out of the house every day. Even if it's a 10 or 15 minute walk, I think just the mental aspect of getting out for a few minutes, seeing the outside world, it, uh, it helps put things into perspective and avoid that kind of hermit mentality. Luckily for me, I have a lot of this scheduled into my work because I'm often going out for client work, doing photo shoots or video shoots. But for those of you that might not have that kind of business, just try and figure out something to get yourself out of the house every day. It's gonna play a big part in your mental health long term. I've always been somewhat of a completionist when it comes to my work or my tasks or to-dos. 
I like to sit down, finish everything that needs to get done, and then rest once everything is completed. That's a very contradictory mindset to have when you're running a business from home because that list is never complete. You're always going to wake up and have new things to do and new tasks and it's just an ongoing thing. It's been tough for me over the past year to adjust to this, but I've been making some personal strides and I wanted to make sure and share this for everyone else. It's okay if you don't get every single task completed in that single day. You need to allow yourself to relax at the end of the day and restart fresh the next. Oftentimes when you load yourself up with just too much to do, you know the weight of all of those tasks can really crush your mindset and put you in a dark or negative place. Sometimes doing less on a specific day is going to yield you more work and more productivity over the course of a week or a month or a year. Just pick those most important you know, one to three things and make sure those get completed and just ignore the rest if you need to. It's a marathon, not a sprint, so just take your time and don't let yourself get overwhelmed with your to-do list. As I said in the beginning, I'm only one year into my career freelancing and working from home full time, so I definitely still have a lot to learn, but these were a few things I've learned over the past year. I really hope they help you, and I would love to hear anything that has been really beneficial for you down below in the comments. And if you don't have any good tips to share, maybe share some struggles that you've had. Let's get a good discussion going for everyone. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed this. It helps me out a ton. But I will talk to you all next week. Have a good one.